All right, we got a mage. I'm not sure what kind of mage yet. Um, hmm. Mech mage has been a little bit more common. He mulliganed all three though. I think first any kind of mage or throwing farseer is pretty good because like mech mages have a lot of two threes. Otherwise, they have um, the mad scientist, which is a two two. Um, so it's pretty good. If it pulls out a frostbolt, that's great. Um, I don't know if we can keep all three of this though. It's pretty good though. If you coin the deadly on three to kill something, then you could just lay the earthen on, uh, or coin the deadly on two, and then play the earthen on three, while well, you still have the deadly to protect the earthen. Pretty good, and I almost want to keep the azurjack, but let's look for something better like Violet Teacher, or SI7. Alright, so hopefully this is enough. This isn't that greedy of a hand. And so we're already thinking against Freeze Mage because um, he passed, or Giant's Mage. So yeah, I'm thinking either Freeze or Giant's Mage. A coin is really important. Really, against Freeze Mage, you really want to go first, because you really need that extra turn before they Alex you um, to get Rag down or something. So we're going to save the coin to get, hopefully, Dr. Boom or Rag, something like that. Um, but we might be forced to use it before that. Um, if it's Entity, I think we'll just... I was trying to decide if we were going to backstab or just deadly, coin deadly. I wasn't sure. Um, but it looks like it's a. It still could be Giant's Mage, but it's more likely Freeze Mage. Um, actually, this suggests that it's Giant's Mage. It suggests that he really wants to get a 5 drop down to get duplicated. Um, Sap would be great here because we're, we're not sure if we want to duplicate this. We're not sure if it is duplicate. It could be Ice Buck. But either way, he really wants to get a 5 drop down and we can't afford to let him get a 5 drop down, so it looks like we have a pretty clean kill here. If it gets duplicated, we might be in trouble. But he has to have the freezes to go with it. He can't just play it. Okay, so it looks like this is Ice Block, but he really wanted to play um, a Belcher here. He's still going to play it, but he's less happy about it. Again, we're going to try to save this coin for Dr. Boomer Rag. Um, against whenever a mage throws an acolyte, you're looking for opportunities to mill, but we don't have that opportunity, so we'll just um, probably hit it with our dagger. Okay, that's a good draw. Um, we can preserve the. It might be important to preserve this for um, the. We're gonna say Doom Sarah, but it didn't get duplicated. But we'll just preserve it because the three, the two HP is fine on the um, SI7, and plus he has Molten Giant, so there's no point in um. We don't want to get him down too much early, we'll just burst him down. Okay, Ragnaros. Now this makes it really difficult, because we were going to coin the boom. Uh, but now we want to coin the Ragnaros. Yeah. So he Frost Nova, so it's turn 7. Flame Strike's not good. If it was a good flame strike turn for him, then we'd be tempted to boom to make the flame strike not as good. But it's not even a good flame strike turn, so we could just do this. Um, it kind of sucks to float all this mana. I think we're gonna hold on to that dagger. It's not like we need a fresh dagger against mages, anyways. Except for when we're pushing for a flurry for the final kill. But it looks like we should be able to get this coin rag off. Perfect. That's a really pretty bad blizzard for him, and now he won't have an answer for the rag. They usually don't play um, Polymorph or Big Game Hunter, so we should be fine. He might be forced to like fireball it or something. No matter what, there's almost no convenient answer unless he's put Polymorph or a Big Game Hunter in his deck for these two cards. And so now if he throws down an Acolyte or something, we're looking to mill him. Also if he throws down a Duplicate, but it looks like it's actually just a pure Freeze Mage. Yeah, it's a pure Freeze Mage. Um, this is actually problematic because this takes our guy down to 6, which means it gets fireballed. Uh, but I, we're not sapping it. Okay. Um, looks like we could play boom here. We could kill this. Or no, we'll kill this. Oh, uh, our guy's dying either, either way. It looks like. Um, unless I whack it, which is actually fine. So I'll start off with that so to preserve our boom bots. I'm prep shooting, so I could do that first. I guess a backstab would be nice. I 
And so Flame Strike isn't good. He already Blizzarded. Oh, the second Blizzard would be nice for him. A Frost Nova Doomsayer we could even handle with the Sap. Plus he wanted to Fireball our Rag, so he just can't deal with anything now. Um, so now we're looking for a Flurry to close out the game. Just my... <laughs> We actually thought that was blocked this whole time. So nice to see it's buried. Now he has to spend three mana on a block. If he mad scientists, if he tries a mad scientist, we might just sap it. Because we really the mana is really big for a freeze mage, and a freeze mage hates casting secrets. They cost three mana. They'd much rather mad scientist them. And anytime like he's already behind, so he doesn't want to spend three mana of his turn to ice block if he's forced to almost. So that leaves him with six mana to do not much. Um, if he doesn't ice block, we can pretty much assume he doesn't have it because he's. Okay, Blizzard is actually pretty safe. Like we said, that was like his best turn. Still afraid of death, though, so he's taking 8, 9. Alright, so we could do 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we could pop the block, right? Um, and unfortunately, it's going to be at 8, but let's just double check. 5, 6, 7, plus 8 is 15. So it sucks that it's at the full 8, but it's still popped. That's good. It could have been Barrier too, but we didn't really have a way to play around Barrier. Um, so we're not worried about Molten Giants. Um, we're just worried about, really, they have to have Ice Block on and you not to be able to kill them so they can drop Alex, but he can't even drop Alex now because he'll just die. Okay, but it looks like he's bought himself another turn. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the block lower than 8, so that's really going to hurt us. He's pretty much forced to ping here. Unless he has Ice Lance plus Mad Scientist. Maybe this is his other best play. So he probably doesn't even have the second block. But we need to create a board. His his best play is going to be um, Alexstrasza. So should he Alexstrasza... Okay, we can kill him if he tries to Alex us. Um, so now he needs to ice block. He needs to ice block and set up another Doomsayer turn. So there's ice block. And he's Frost Nova Doomsayer. Oh, so we need like a deadly poison or something. Or one damage off. Oh, this would have been sick. We would have got the... Um, we do got the ice block. Now he's almost a liability because they can do some crazy stuff with Antonitis, but he can't really Antonitis before he Alexes us. But uh, what I mean is um, he can make a lot of coins with Antonitis and make a lot of fireballs, but they're going to be pretty wasted. He can fireball our board, but I think it's okay to do this. I'm trying to figure out if this is going to die. If this is going to live, then we really want to get the one dagger hit in. Um, we could just Evis him now. Um, he could have another Kona Cold, which means we'd want to play f uh, four minions, but I think we're just going to do this. Also, it could be um, Barrier. Okay, it's Barrier, so we don't need to Evis. Okay, so now we actually get the Ice Block. He can't Ice Block before killing this, so that's pretty big. Although... Ice Block doesn't guarantee the win for us, unfortunately. Okay, so he's going to make some fireballs with the coin. Oh, okay. So he still needs, again, like I said. Okay, so he's making two fireballs. He can Ice Lance. Oh, he can Ice Lance coin Ice Lance. That would be sick. He would actually kill our Gallywix. That would be insane. Probably just going to sap this. Um, let's get this guy on the board. Let's put him here so we can make creep. Maybe there. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't think we care about making another guy. Plus, we really want to save that for deadly poison. Right, so he has a lot of fireballs, but he he probably doesn't have enough time to cast them all. Again, he needs to ice block at some point while still keeping our board down. So our main his main way of winning again is like ice block, frost nova doomsayer, but 
Uh, okay. Oh, he's that's a concession, I think. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, he didn't even let us cast ours. Okay. Um, so freeze mage. Again, um, it all comes down to the rag. We were fortunate enough to have rag in our hand um, before we had to use the coin. We're like, okay, cool, we can save the coin for rag. Um, and you can see it was most likely a little. It was definitely stronger than coining the Doctor Boom. It worked out perfectly. He couldn't kill it for like three turns. Um, Gallywix would have been sick pretty early on. It really would have limited his plays. He wouldn't. Have, if we got Gallywix. Gallywix might be worth coining out because then it would prevent things like Arcane Intellect, Secrets early, and he could only really cast like board freezes and stuff, and it would, it would really limit him. Um, just beef. Um, oh, last thing, and then just going first is usually better than having the coin against Freeze Mage because um, the big turns are coin rag is nice, but you, you might have a lot of difficulty coining rag if you're going second the whole time. And then um, if you're going first, it's easier, but you have to watch out for their, on their turn 7 to do a Frost Nova Doomsayer so they can coin Alex you on their turn 8. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it.